morning. It's very early here in Invercargill. For the ones who haven't seen these videos here, welcome. Uh, this is all about introducing you to the courses. I'm not gonna be able to introduce a lot about this particular one here because it is huge uh, compared to all of the other ones that we've played so far. This is uh, the golf course down here in Invercargill. Uh, definitely worth a look, especially if you're wanting to really, really stretch your arms and uh, get some uh, massive, massive throws in. We'll try to talk you through most of it. We won't do all the little individual shots here, otherwise this video will take uh, like an hour or so. But Hopefully you enjoy it. Before we get underway, I'd like to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Vortica Disc Golf. Vortica was formed by Mars and Galley and Chris Davies primarily to grow the game of disc golf in New Zealand. They liked the idea of having a few thousand discs as well as bags, baskets and other accessories for everyone to choose from. The great thing about Vortica is they give back to disc golf by sponsoring events all over the South Island, nationals, as well as world teams and individual players showing remarkable talent and character. They also design a few courses, so if you've got a plan to put a course up in your hometown or somewhere special, Vortica know what they're doing. Be sure to check out vortica.co.nz for your next purchase. By watching this video, you're already eligible for 10% discount simply by using the promo code WFC23 at the checkout. The part of the site that I love is the area where you can learn more about the game, what the different plastics and discs do, as well as how to improve your game overall. So make sure you use the promo code WFC23 to get 10% off your next purchase and give yourself the best chance for success in the game at a discounted price. Now, let's go with the throws. So here for the first one, we have hole two. Pretty much because hole number one is being out of action because of our whole pile tree felling. This one here goes for 115 metres, it's par three. Uh, we're currently down here, we're gonna shoot all the way up there. It's a little bit of a hazard behind as well as an OB. <laughs> and planes over here. But it's right down there. Easy as. Baby Junior. Whoa. Must be the one. Daddy Caddy has two. Currently on hole three. 122 meters, par three. The big pine tree way, way down there. Yep. 122 meters, it's in between that and that small slub. Oh! Oh, dang. That's birdie, surely. Had it all day. So this one here, we are currently on hole four, par four, 210 meters. This is the sort of stuff that you can get used to. So as you go all the way down here, there's a little pathway which goes across, traveling to the other 18 course next door, but it's right in those trees. So good luck. Here's us ready to go to all of ours, and here's Lance on the way to his, which I'm pretty sure is in Winton. Great work, Tibbs. This one here is... <laughs> this one here is hole five. Goes for 99 meters. It is a par three. Now the cool part about this one is that you've got to go all the way down there and there is two trees which have got mandos on them. So you've got to get it in between there. Basket's pretty much right beside it. So enjoy this one. This is a good, good, good hole. Oh, I got it! Oh, and 
me with the path. One thing that this course has got going for it is it's picturesque. We've got wee purglers, we've got some random kids castle thing over here. Got a few weightlifty sort of things. So in amongst all of the other really, really cool stuff here with the golf course and the disc, disc golf course as well. Uh, it's a really, really family friendly affair. Here is hole six. Although it says it's par four, supposedly it's par five on uh, the old U-Disc, 240 meters. Cool part about this one here is that when you are going down there, just drive it all the way down there, there, were, there is a little marker down there. So you need to go on the right hand side of that Mando. And then it's a nice wee channel all the way down there into the basket. Do take care not to go over the road. Otherwise that's a little bit OB. Now you've got a golf There's a string with a line. Which uh, there ain't. <laughs> Mando is 90 degrees between you of the tea pad and the mandatory tree. Which isn't always 90 degrees between the basket. Um, and you missed it. Yeah. Dumps it. Like I did. <laughs> This one here, hole seven, is 110 meters. It is a path four. Um, this one's a gnarly one because there's some trees over there which we are trying to dodge. We have to just go straight down and then pop a real hard right. So I don't think this is the right disc for it, but at least I can get into the right place. It should be fine. Unlucky. What? Still <laughs> <laughs> And uh, there's doing donuts. <laughs> oh, he's done it again. Oh, he's actually curved it around. Look at this guy. Ooh, big distance. Oh, has he cleared it? Yep. That tree helped out so much. Lovely work. Here we go, hole eight. Par three, 92 meters. This one is a tricky one to be able to spot, but all the way down there, and then there's a tree around about where there's some markers about there. So just make sure you get a good distance for this one. Hole 9, par 4, 207 metres. This one here is going a long way down that way there. In fact, uh, we played this one last night in the dark and we had no idea where we were going. Um, probably best to kind of aim for those trees there and then kind of work your way to the left. That's a good arc. This one, aiming for in those trees. Hole 10, par 3, 108 meters. This one here from the T pad. We are looking to go right down there and then hook and around the right probably just barely see it past that entry there 
one thing that you do have to be conscious of is regular ball golfers um, here on this course here so uh, we need to give way to them at all times. Mark, Mr. Vortiker himself, mm -hmm. uh, what's your thoughts about playing on courses like this compared to the smaller ones that are around New Zealand? Uh, it's a good way to extend the arm and sort of test the, the distance. That's something we don't really get in Dunedin. It's just yeah, small sort of localised courses, but this is yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So is there anything coming up there for Dunedin in regards to golf courses? Uh, we've got a Black Ice series coming up and a fortnight with our first one and a four night at Island Park. So sweet. Looking forward to that. Oh great. Yeah, so that's Jack and myself. That's starting. That's our first one for the year. So Island Park and there's another one, Otakau and then Port Chalmers, I think, eh? This is the last one, yeah. So nice, look forward to it. Keep an eye out. Mm. This is uh, probably one of the most humbling of holes that I've ever had to play on. It is number eleven and we have a well it's thankfully it's a par five but Pretty sure that says 354 meters. So unless you've got a really, really good arm and you can throw it nice and accurate, uh, expect that you probably won't be scoring yourself an ego on this one. That's a birdie. That's a birdie. Nice finish. Is that eight? <laughs> this one here is hole 12. We are going 108 meters, only par three. And we are going right down there past the, the darker pines there on the end. Yes. So here we are at hole 13. Now if you move some of these signs, you've actually got the discourse um, underneath. So hole 13, par four, 145 meters. It's in the bushes there, there is a mando that you need to make your way through. Um, it's a cool hole this one, I enjoyed it. It. Yeah, no, you're, 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 you're through. That's one thing that these golf courses are good for is those skips, eh? Oh, got him! Here we go, hole 14, par 3, 100 metres, and that's a lot of hedge there on that side, uh, but it should be quite a bit of fun. Just gotta get it in there. Yes. Andrew, given that you're uh, kind of fr still feeling fresh to the game, uh, what's your thoughts about playing on a long course like this? It's been a challenge for me, for sure. We haven't got the distance, but um, yeah, it's bloody nice to walk around the golf course. I've played a bit of golf in my day, so nice to play some disc golf on a golf course. Yeah. yeah. So you're making friends and stuff on the course there as well, so yeah, all good. <laughs> all right, here we are at hole 15. This one here has got a Mando all the way down the track, about 100 meters or so. This one, all you got to do is go 150 meters, par four. Jack, show us how it's done. Oh, definitely made Mando out there.
skippen. Here we are at hole 16. Not that hole 16. Our hole 16. So this one here is 115 par 3. Uh, we've got the OB, OB there. We've got a couple of hazard um, areas there as well. So we need to make sure that you stay away from the bunkers. With that, it is definitely an issue. So obviously you want to stay away from the green and those wee sand traps there as well. But 115 meters, pretty tempting. Got a birdie look. Welcome to hole 17. This one here is a par 5, 255 meters. This one has got a long way to travel. So if you're looking down here from the tee pad all the way down here. <laughs> right, you got the rangefinder out, mate. We got the basket right there. What's the story? 51 meters. So, are you going up and over? Right. Uh, me, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll probably do the same. Victory dance. <laughs> Ta-da! Final hole here, hole 18, it's a par three. We've got 115 meters. Issue with this one is down the track aiming towards the club rooms you need to make sure that you are staying off the green you need to make sure that you're staying out of that sand trap there uh, otherwise everything else is all good So I managed to earn my way into third place, so I'm pretty happy about that. This course here is just outstanding, if, especially if you're wanting to be able to give yourself a really, really good throw for massive distances and start going towards the, the proper competition sort of stuff. Definitely come down to here in Vigargle to the golf course at Queen's Park. It's definitely worth a look. If you're struggling for that sort of stuff there, you've always got the shorter 18 um, course right beside it. But otherwise, until next time, I will see you later. Bye.